Fiona is a bit of a celebrity at CSU. Everybody loves her. She's always so happy and smiling, if you will. Most people can't look at her and not smile. She's just so happy and excited to see us every time she comes in for her appointments and gives us kisses and just wiggles her whole back end in her little tail wag. She's just an amazing dog. Fiona was about eight years old when we discovered she had a brain tumor. The first sign was a little seizure. And so we took her in and I immediately opted for an MRI and we discovered the brain tumor. So when we came to CSU, they said, we do have a clinical trial. If it is a glioma brain tumor, then we have this option. So we decided to go ahead and enroll in the clinical trial. You know, historically, gliomas carry a very poor prognosis. The median survival for gliomas that are untreated is about five weeks based on the literature we have in dogs. And we wanted to do something about that. And so in collaboration with Dr. Steve Dow, we decided to try to tackle gliomas. And he came up with a vaccine that essentially teaches the body how to attack the glioma, the brain tumor that the patients have. So the trial that Fiona's part of actually came out of our work with uh, bone cancer in dogs. Uh, the bone cancer work now is moving actually to pediatric bone cancer trials. So we're hopeful that the brain cancer work that Fiona's part of will also lead to treatments for kids with brain cancer. So we're working for both dogs and kids, and that's really what motivates us because we can, you know, improve the life of both populations. Fiona's case stands out um, primarily just because she has had such a great success with this study. She's at almost a full three years since her original diagnosis, which is absolutely incredible. She's responded so well to the treatment. Fiona makes this possible because Fiona's owner makes this possible, right? And her owner is committed obviously not only to Fiona's health, but also to contributing to medical research in general and advancing the treatment for brain cancer for other patients. I hope that what they've learned with Fiona, they can use for others. If there's an owner whose um, pet has been diagnosed with cancer or some other disease and they're interested in finding out about clinical trials options, there's a number of different ways to do that. Reaching out to your local veterinarian, sometimes they'll have information about clinical trials that are being conducted in the area. Also looking on the internet to find websites for different, if there's a university, those are the most common places that are doing clinical trials. Reaching out to them to see about availability. There's also a searchable veterinary clinical trials database online on the AVMA, American Veterinary Medical Association website, where owners can go in and enter their pet's diagnosis and also search by location, so by states close to them, to see what clinical trials may be available. Cancer is something that I think affects most everybody, and so it's definitely important to continue to gather data and knowledge and see what we can do to fight this. We're so happy to see how well Fiona has done for so long. She's truly an inspiration and we, we just love her so much. <laughs>